Now, the Bank of Ghana has revealed that it will soon close down some non-bank financial institutions facing severe liquidity challenges. According to the central bank, the liquidity challenges have made it difficult for these institutions to meet financial obligations to their clients and depositors. All attempts by the regulator to keep them in business have proven futile. Dr. Ness Addison is governor of the Bank of Ghana and has been giving more details. There, were, there are no banks on liquidity support. However, you know that we have some legacy institutions in the non-bank sector, right, that are, in a sense, not able to meet depositor payments. And these are legacy problems. We have not been able to raise the necessary resources which would allow those institutions, you know, to be resolved and the depositors' uh, funds returned to them. It's an issue that we are looking closely at under this IMF program. And the plan is to set aside some resources uh, from the budget, hopefully. And, and once those resources are identified, uh, we will take care of that legacy problem in the non-bank financial institution sector. This is an area where the discussions on the financial sector, you know, always needs. I hear statements like, you spend so much money to clean up banks, but they don't compare apples with apples because that 22 billion or 25 billion that is quoted was not the amount spent to clean up banks alone. That was the amount spent to clean up banks, savings and loans, institutions, microfinance institutions, and institutions that were licensed by the SEC. Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ness Addison, uh, justifying why they will be backing on that action. And let's interrogate this further. Joining us via Zoom is Associate Professor of Finance at Andrews University, Williams Bipra, for more on that. Thanks so much, sir, for joining me on Business Live. First off, do you think that the announcements made by the governor uh, forecast troubling times ahead for the industry and also shows how the industry is really struggling? And thank you for calling me. Good evening to your viewers. Um, so, um, I mean, the, the, the announcement by the governor, if I listen clearly, um, is in relation to an existing issue and not for companies or non-financial institutions that are operating now. Mm. Um, he used the word legacy issues. So, which means that they were those companies that the non-financial institutions he's talking about are related to those that were classified during the um, banking um, cry, uh, cleanup exercise. So um, it, it, it's going to deepen the walls of investors who had their money with these institutions. Already, um, these individuals are already um, hoping that they were going to be get paid. But the, the, the announcement by the governor saying that these banks face um, shutdown is going to be a major challenge for investors. And, and the ripple effect is that um, it is going to reduce or, or, or diminish the confidence being restored after the IMF coming in in the financial sector. Mm. So um, the central bank must um, operate carefully and um, whatever strategy they want to focus on to address the non-banking financial institutions. If not, um, Ghanaians will lose confidence in the entire financial industry, not only the non-financial banking system, but also in the, the main banking system. So its handling needs must be done with care. Mm. And what should be um, stakeholders' position on this in the industry, basically? What should they be doing now? I mean, um, if you ask me, um, with the central bank, um, probably normally the, their strategy has been only focusing on providing liquidity support. Um, but for us in finance, I, I, when you see a company struggling, you also think of, can we do a restructuring of the company's operation 
can we change the management of those managing the company and bring in new management? And we, we should also be, be careful because some of these non-financial um, uh, banks or institutions may be facing liquidity challenges because of the recent debt exchange program, the haircuts. It may be that they have invested in, in these entities and they are suffering. So making payments to their clients will become difficult. So this is where the central bank should not only focus on closing down or banks that are, are probably um, having liquidity challenges or only giving liquidity support, they must also go into find out who are the management members, what are their capabilities, uh, can we ask some of the companies to form a merger mm. to, to strengthen the books to be able to meet the, 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 the current situation? All right. Thank you very much, uh, Professor William uh, Prefer, for your time here on Business Life. He's an associate professor at Andrews University in the USA. Mr.